Okay, first story of the week. Let's talk about Apple and Apple being in talks with Google to use Gemini for the iPhone 16. So this was reported by Bloomberg that Apple is in talks to license Gemini, that is Google's LLM AI model, for some features on the next iPhone. They also held talks with OpenAI, apparently, as well. So this isn't a done deal with Google, but they are looking for a third party to provide them with an LLM for the next iPhone. So the next iPhone is iPhone 16. Should be released in September, just as every other year the iPhone has been released in September for the last I don't know how many. Um, we're likely to hear about this in June. So the Worldwide Developer Conference is in June, and that's where all the latest iOS features get talked about. So what are we on to? iOS 18 um, is where we'll be at. So this could be a feature of that. So this is when we'll hear like who they're using, I guess, and which which company they've partnered with. They have already partnered with Google prior to this. This isn't the first time they've partnered. Don't forget, we've talked about this here before. We've talked about Google Search being on the iPhone and the fact that Google paid millions to Apple. So this is one of those like, hey, we'll pay you millions to do this and you can pay us millions for having AI. Or maybe this just washes out, right? They're just like, they make an agreement. I don't know what happens here, but is there any money exchanging hands? Who knows? I'm sure there is <laughs> uh, for tax reasons. Uh, right. Gemini already powers the Samsung S24 devices. So it's the same LLM that's on Samsung for this year. So that's interesting, as Sarah has right there. So Apple is still working on AI models, apparently. They have not abandoned this, but maybe the work that they're doing there either isn't good enough or they're not getting there quick enough. Mm -hmm. So Sarah, why do you think we're seeing Apple go with Google or OpenAI's? We don't know yet. Uh, either one of their models on their next device. Yeah. I mean, like you said, I think it's just lack of time. Like they need to get it released. And I know we talked, um, you know, several months ago that like, we think Apple's like, you know, four or five years out from like a decent AI model. And this is going to be the really only way they can like keep up with the competition who's already, you know, done. I've already got it, you know, right here. And this is how they're going to get there. And I, I think, you know, for as much as I like diss on Apple, um, I think they're smart in the fact where they know they can't do search great. You know, Apple Maps is hit and miss. So they allow Google Maps finally and things like that. So they know kind of where their limitations are. And I think it's smart for them to like go out and and get the best that they can to put on their phones so that they can get it out quicker. It's not like they can't afford it, right? Whatever it's going to cost, <laughs> they can certainly afford it. And I'm sure, I mean, Google knows that, that, that yeah. you know, they know that. They know what they're paying to have search on the phones. We're talking multiple, multiple millions to be on the phone every year for them to yeah. be the device on the, you know, to be the search engine on the phone. So, um, you know, we're talking a lot of money for this, I'm sure. Licensing for this for whatever it is, 8 billion devices or whatever it is that Apple has that this is going to go on, it's right. not going to come cheap. But we know yeah. they have the money for it. But I, I, I'm, I'm with you. I agree. I think it's a time thing. I think they're like, hey, it, we need it in the next phone. We don't have enough time to make it. Let's just right. buy it. Yeah. Anybody else have any other theories? I think that they, they're seeing a decline in iPhone sales worldwide. I think the U.S. still dominates the market. But when they look at a worldwide number, um, with Android being all of these phones glopped together, they're losing out. They, they have some declines in China. And I think this is there's a real threat to their phone. So you got to realize that the iPhone still is like 58% of their gross revenue. So like, I think they made $70 billion on iPhones last year. So like it's, or last quarter, first quarter this year, but like there's still like, if they don't have a great image editing, they don't have a good AI thing. When the new Samsung devices come out at the end of the year and they're still not there, people could switch to an S25 or whatever that is. A pixel has it. Now the low end ones probably don't have it, but that's not the market they're in. They're not in the low end market. So they have to win in the U S and in Europe, they have to like, so that's where you're selling the high end devices. And if they're not at the highest end, it could spell trouble for them. So I agree. I mean, you it. know me, I'm in the Apple ecosystem. I have Apple everything, yeah. the watch, the phone, the iPad, the, I literally have one of everything, right? The laptop, the whole thing, like the ecosystem to me is great. I love it because the, in, the interoperability between them data wise and account wise and everything i just absolutely love but if the next iphone doesn't have the ai stuff that i want to mess with i'm seriously going to look at another phone can i can i can i keep the ecosystem and just have a different phone uh, yeah i could 
Um, yeah. And I would definitely look at it. But it seems like they're going to do something. Um, so they've said that this is for some features on the phone. So I don't know which features we're talking about. My guess is maybe they're able to polish some features to the point where internally where they're good. Maybe the, fo- the, the, the photography features, I'm guessing they're, they're good on that. They've always been good on that stuff. But maybe the, the generative um, um, LLM part isn't very good, like the, the, the uh, type of head or that kind of stuff that uses AI. Maybe they need help with that. I can see that's where this gets kind of plugged in. So I don't think it's the only AI we see on the phone. I just think it's, it's part of it. And I think it's clearly some features that they need to be able to say, yes, we have that too, <laughs> just like yeah, Samsung had it. <laughs> Because the other part of their business is services. And so, like, the, the thing they risk they run, if you're not using an iPhone, guess what? You're not. You're not in the iTunes Music Store. Yep. You may be on Apple Plus TV, but, like, there's these services that run a risk, too, if you're not using their devices. So they do have to get this right. And even though I'm not an iPhone user, I'm glad they exist because it at least keeps Samsung somewhat, <laughs> like, we can't make this phone three thousand dollars. If it wasn't an iPhone, they would. I don't know. know. They keep so, trying. It is a race to the top. <laughs> yeah. 